there are just two basic categories of torque tool. Those that measure the torque being applied and those that signal when a preset torque has been reached. Measuring tools generally have a scale, dial or digital readout. The torque is measured continuously as it is applied. Measuring tools are ideal for use in research and development, inspection, quality control and servicing, where there is a need to check a variety of torque settings. These multifunctional tools are also used in assembly operations, where an operator may be required to tighten fasteners to various different torque values. Preset tools have to be set to the required torque on a calibrated torque tester, or in some cases on the calibrated scale on the tool itself. When the required torque value is achieved during the tightening, the tools either slip, break or click as a signal to the operator. This significantly reduces the possibility of over-tightening. These tools are ideal for production where the operator could be unskilled but repeatable accuracy is required. The Torque Leader Dial Measuring Wrench is one of several tools commonly found in research and development departments for accurately measuring and applying torque. The wrench uses a finely tuned spring mounted between the two pivoting sections of the tool. As torque is applied, the spring compresses and an overload protection stop prevents the user from damaging the mechanism by applying excessive force. The amount of movement is measured through a sturdy rack and pinion system, accurately converting linear motion into a reading on the dial of the wrench. Here, as well as the needle indicating the actual torque being applied, there is a maximum reading indicator, sometimes referred to as a slave pointer, which is moved up and then remains at the peak torque achieved. Some torque leader dial measuring wrenches also have a light and bleeper, to indicate when a specified torque has been achieved. A specific advantage of the principle employed in the design of the torque leader dial measuring wrench is that it's not length dependent. It will measure the correct torque wherever it is held along its handle. For convenience of use, most torque leader dial wrenches also incorporate a ratchet. Dial measuring screwdrivers measure torque through the use of the known twisting force needed to distort a metal torsion bar. The amount of torque applied is measured on a clearly marked dual scale dial. This tool can be used in two ways. It can either be set in track mode so that it consistently tracks the applied torque or it can be set in memory mode which is enabled by withdrawing the slider and resetting the bezel ring to zero before use. This tracks the applied torque as before, but then leaves the memory pointer at the maximum torque position. In production environments, the need is for tools that can apply the correct specified torque consistently, easily and repeatedly. Often, rather than having a tool which measures the torque being applied, it's better to have a tool which simply applies the preset torque value. Unlike torque measuring tools, it's not necessary to have a dial or readout. With Torque Leader, this is achieved through a range of tools which allows the user to apply torque right up to the preset value and then slip or break through a positive angle, making it impossible to over-tighten. There are three main types of presetable torque tool. With click tools, there is an audible click and the operator will feel an impulse when the preset torque is achieved. As force is applied to the tool, the torque will increase. At the preset torque value, the tool will click and there will be approximately three degrees of tool movement. Resetting takes place when the hand pressure is released. However, if the force continues to be applied, then the fastener will be over-tightened. Breaking torque tools break in a controlled manner at a point along the tool's length at the preset torque. As force is applied, the torque will again increase. At the preset torque value, the tool will break through an angle of 20 degrees, 
to signal that the correct torque has been applied. Again, the tool will automatically reset when the hand pressure is released. Continued application of force beyond the 20 degree movement can again lead to over tightening. However, the greater tool movement makes this significantly less likely. With slipping tools, torque again increases with the applied force. At the preset torque value, the mechanism in the tool causes the application of torque to cease and the tool slips free for a short time until it automatically resets. Even if the application of force is repeated, the preset torque will not be exceeded, therefore making it impossible to over-tighten the fastener. With the torque safe slipper wrench, a roller is pushed by a spring against a multi-lobed cam. Until the specified torque is achieved, the roller transfers the driving force to the cam. At a preset level, however, the force of the spring is overcome, and the roller travels over to the next position on the cam. As this slipping action will repeat at each subsequent cam position, excessive torque can never be applied. All torque leader production wrenches incorporate a unique double positive locking system. To adjust the tool, the handle end cap is removed and the locking mechanism is released using a hexagon key. The tool is then adjusted using a specially designed adjusting key that significantly reduces the possibility of unauthorized adjustment. Finally, the tool is re-locked using the hexagon key and the cap replaced, leaving the wrench ready for use. The TSP TorqueSafe slipping wrench is also fitted with the double positive locking system, while the TSC slipping wrench incorporates a calibrated scale for ease of adjustment. <laughs>